for the input for our get request i have just add parameters which will be uh, you can say uh, another attribute for defining a uh, parameters for this api so name will be the uh, parameter and uh, i define the object name as an as a field name of the of the api parameter then in query uh, you mean in is as attribute and then query like uh, the object name will be in query then description that what description is then required if required is true then what the type is of this parameter is a string and same for post request so i have defined request body what body should be uh, for the post api then required if the required is true then content and content is application json you can t put whatever uh, the requirement for api is then schema what the schema is type is object then properties and what the properties is name or you can add more like i can add address and then type string so if i go here and refresh it it will display the for the get api the object name then i can put that right and then i put it and execute it for the post request it will all it will display the required fields for me that a name is required address is required the whole body is obviously required so the application json and you can try it with this one and yeah so with that you can simply create a swagger doc for your swagger swagger doc for your backend apis in next years so hope you like the content don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video allah hafiz